uh, hello video journal. <laughs> um, so on Tuesday, um, I'm going to be doing a poetry reading. Um, the first one that I've done on Zoom, um, and the first poetry reading I've done, you know, uh, I think in 2020. Um, no, I think I did one before, you know, the COVID outbreak. Um, I can't remember. Um, but it should be interesting. Um, I, I think poetry readings are interesting for several reasons. Um, one, because you get to see people's, um, uh, um, people let things slip, right, unintentionally when they're reading. Um, they, they, they make faces at lines they don't like, or they, um, they, they, they change things slightly um, from, from the original version of the poem. Um, or they, um, you know, um, make jokes or whatever to try to, um, you know, uh, separate themselves, you know, from the audience a little bit. And it's such an interesting dynamic to have. And I wonder how it's going to work over Zoom, um, you know, over just a kind of any online setting. Um, because it's like speaking into the... It, it, kind of like what I'm doing now, right? Just speaking to uh, to myself, right? Um, one of the interesting things about doing classes and stuff on Zoom is that I can see my own face, right? Um, and how I react to things. Um, and uh, it's like part of my subconscious has been, been uh, put there right in front of me for me to watch, you know? Um, but the poems that I'm going to read on Tuesday are from a long work that I have, um, been working on for mm, a month or two now. Um, actually I just think a month right now it's, it's 30, I think 33 poems, um, 32 poems, um, and they're all, uh, single um, they're all one stanza, right? And they're all kind of um, sequences that um, um, I hope stand independently, but also work together um, to kind of uh, navigate some central themes um, uh, similar to, to um, uh, Jeffrey Hill's Triumph of Love or something like that. Um, I don't know, it's not like a new concept or anything. Poets have done that before. Um, but, uh, you know, I hope that there's a lot of reoccurring images and um, connecting tissue, connective tissue. But I also think that you could read the poems independently and still find something of value in each one. Um, I mean, that's the idea, right? Um, but... Uh, these poems are, are kind of, um, they began as, as, as a kind of an idea just to get myself writing because I'm the type of poet who um, I do my best writing and I write the most, you know, whenever I'm kind of trying to connect ideas into, into greater themes, um, you know, uh, and I can write things very quickly then, right? When I have an overarching, overarching kind of schema for things, um, it makes it much easier for me to write. Um, I'm not a poet who, who tends to, to write things without, you know, another poem in mind, right? Um, uh, I feel, um, as if, uh, every poem, um, that I write is interacting with, you know, not just the poems that they're, you know, they're, they're talking to, um, but also the next poem that I'm going to write or the previous poem that I've written, right? Um, and, I, I mean, I don't think that's a new concept either, right? But I think that this book kind of is um, designing itself to kind of be a fully kind of interactive uh, 
meta um, commentary along with, you know, just being uh, hopefully um, beautiful and meaningful, right? Um, but uh, the title of the book, um, and I, I've gone between a few things. Um, I say book, right? And who knows? But uh, I guess that's what it is for now, you know? Um, you know, once it gets to like 300 poems or whatever, it'll be so unwieldy. Um, and probably only half the poems are going to be good if I'm lucky. But whatever. Um, the title is going to be either Poems, colon, uh, Theater of Attraction, or Poems of Attraction, you know? And they both have different kind of meanings and um, different associations, and I haven't decided between the two. Or maybe, you know, maybe I'll come up with a better title, um, you know, uh, uh, eventually, right? Um, but I like Poems, Theater of Attraction, because I... Uh, you know, the theater of attraction is an idea about like early cinema that, um, you know, the movies were part of, um, the movies were thought of as an attraction, right? Um, like a, like a, like a, a Ferris wheel, right? And you come to the, the, the park, right? To ride the Ferris wheel, but you also do a bunch of other stuff. You know, early movies were, were, um, you know, part of like larger vaudeville acts and things like that. And I've always found that to be kind of a, a, a unique idea for um, a book of poetry, right? That these are um, things that you come to as individual attractions, but they're within the, the larger um, uh, whole. And that larger whole has its own themes, but also the individual poems uh, have their moments of, of peaks and valleys and things like that, uh, i.e. roller coasters. Um, and I wanted Poems Theater of Attraction because uh, it's kind of a, a small homage to, um, and it, is it really a homage if it's like barely noticeable? I don't know. Um, to, to Poems Song by um, Bridget Begin Kelly. Um, or just Poems of Attraction because the poems are about um, a sort of attraction, right? Um, and they are attractions, right? And I, I want perhaps to play on that double meaning. Um, and wordplay is important to these poems too. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, that obviously comes across in both. But uh, I don't know which one I think is better, you know. Um, perhaps neither of them are very good. Uh, I always have trouble with titles, which is why I try to avoid them. Um, <laughs> But one can't have an un, a titleless book. I mean, that's still a title, right? It's like the the Black Album. It's still a title, right? Um, but I'm hoping in this reading, and I pick some poems that are kind of more um, distinctly tied together, right? Um, with reoccurring images. Some of the reoccurring images are are, are fires and and um, not just fires, but um, you know. Uh, burning to ash um, uh, word play um, I have a poem about palindromes um, or about palindrome the word right um, that involves palindromes um, there's a lot of images of, of uh, um, you know, of, uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted by my own poems, but of, uh, of particular people, um, in peril or dying, um, you know, it's a fairly, it's a fairly violent book that I've been working on so far, um, uh, but also I think hopeful, um, one of the kind of overarching themes that I've been trying to write towards is, um, uh, an anti-libertarian um, ideal, right? Um, several of my poems are about how um, are, are, are kind of me trying to, in my own way, attack certain libertarian ideas about the ownership of the self and um, the near solipsistic individualism um, and the lies that kind of libertarians kind of put forward um, 
and then also just um, anti-fascist to um, kind of the 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 resisting the the things that kind of um, want to crush down um, the human right um, both libertarianism and fascism are, are different ideologies but they both um, are designed to to with domination in mind different kinds of domination right um, but uh, you know um, domination nonetheless and I think these poems in, in their own ways and um, you know, kind of attack that ideology, those ideologies, and, and specifically libertarian ideologies. Um, and then also a lot of these poems are un united by their surrealism. Um, uh, I think for me, surrealism has had a real attraction. I think, you know, it's kind of, um, you know, uh, fallen out of favor, um, at least in poetry, right? Um, for the most part, for, for a type of realism or lyric um, neo-confessionalism, right, or, um, you know, and, and, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, right, I'm not, I'm not here to comment on the, the poetry, you know, as a whole now, um, that would probably be like a series of long-winded, annoying videos, um, but, um, you know, surrealism has been a huge draw for me because it allows me to kind of, um, be freer in my associations and also kind of follow the the the, the leaps intuitively um, and not just that but to um, bound myself within a kind of um, avant-garde tradition but also hopefully um, move myself into that that square but also um, have my own you know decidedly unique um, part of the square that I have, that I, um, kind of made my way into. Um, so yeah, um, that's, that's what I've been working on right now. Um, and so, you know, maybe in, you know, uh, a couple of years, it'll actually be something, right. That people can read or maybe not, you know, one never knows, um, what the future holds. Right. Um, uh, but, uh, I think in 2020, a lot of us are, um, looking, towards the future um, in, in both uh, in, in both uh, hope and uh, terror, right? Um, and I think that's um, also kind of the ultimate theme of the book is hope and terror and about how those things overlap um, and um, sometimes they're not so different from each other. Um, okay, uh, goodbye video diary.